today with a two-way split extent, which basically will extend the capabilities of our laptop just by connecting one single USB Type-C cable and we will be able to connect a lot of accessories right over here. It's one micro SD and one SD card and I can connect the charger for my laptop so that we can keep the one cable set up and it will charge up to 100 watts on my laptop. We are charging this laptop and we have a lot of accessories connected to it including two displays at the same time but the beauty of it is that I only have one single cable connected to this split extent so if I remove this single cable I can take my laptop to work Preferably, if I have another split extend at work, I just need to connect that split extend at work. I will have a similar setup as I do right over here. And once I finish my day, I just arrive home, connect it back to my split extend right over here on the USB Type-C port. And once I do that, I will have access once again to all of the accessories that I have, including two displays on this particular setup. And the best of all is that if you remember, I had my Windows organized exactly like this. So I had the browser, I had my speed test, I had the display organization and I had my Explorer 2, 3 and 1. We can organize the way that we want. In this particular case to me makes sense to create a copy of the display that I have. We can go with one single display up to 4K at 30 Hz with two displays which is what I'm using right now. 1080 on each at 60 Hz which is great. And what I've got connected right over here besides the displays is also a power adapter which is charging the laptop and we can see it right over here that is charging. It's at 76% at this moment. It will charge up to 100 watts. So this laptop consumes about 60 to 65. So the 100 watts is more than enough. I also have an external SSD, which we are going to test out the speed. I do have a mouse here, but we could connect the keyboard, a gamepad, whatever we want. And I'm also charging this phone right over here. As we can see, I've got three devices there, but if I remove one, the SD card is gone and if I put it back the SD card is back. Now we can also use the micro SD slot just down below. I do have right on my Explorer the internal SSD, the external SSD and then the SD card which is right over there. And we will achieve a maximum of 5 gigabits. It is USB 3.0 so a maximum of 500 megabytes per second both on reads and also on write. And that is it, simple as this. We just need to connect one single cable.